Hello, my name is Peter Waterman, and I'm a Product Manager for Imaging Applications here at Perkin Elmer. Today I'd like to introduce you to the G8 PET-CT system for preclinical imaging. Positron emission tomography, or PET imaging, is a nuclear imaging technique that provides investigators with quantitative three-dimensional data. Whether alone or in combination with other imaging modalities, PET can inform investigators on various molecular changes in their disease models. Now let's take a closer look at the G8 PET-CT system from Perkin Elmer. The G8 is not your typical PET imaging system. The first thing you'll notice is it's a benchtop system. This allows you to adopt PET imaging without expensive infrastructure changes associated with conventional floor systems. With a fully shielded CT scanner integrated into the system, the G8 also allows you the flexibility to install it where it's needed for imaging, such as in a satellite lab, inside a barrier facility, or in your radiochemistry lab. Inside the G8, you'll find a cube of PET detectors. The PET detector architecture brings these detectors closer to the subject, increasing both the sensitivity and uniformity of PET spatial resolution. The G8 offers 14% PET sensitivity. This increased sensitivity means that lower doses of radioisotopes can be used, reducing the exposure to the investigator and the subject while lowering experimental costs. Using a lower dose of radioisotope also means that you're delivering a more biologically relevant dose of your compound and the isotope. As you can see in this graphic, a human dose of FDG, fluorodeoxyglucose, is about 10 millicuries for a 70 kilogram patient. A typical mouse dose of FDG is 200 microcuries for a 25 gram mouse. The mouse, which is 2,800 times smaller than a human, is only getting about 1 50th of the human dose. The typical G8 dose for FDG is in the range of 20 to 50 microcuries. The G8 is built to deliver high performance quantitative PET data. Let's take a walk through a typical day in the G8 imaging lab. After the radioactivity is received into the laboratory and surveyed, a small aliquot is dosed out and measured using a dose calibrator. A few calculations are made to determine the dose per subject. Physiological conditions such as body temperature and heart rate are important factors to consider in PET imaging. The G8 was designed to ensure the welfare of the patient throughout the imaging process. Initially, the subject is anesthetized in an induction chamber. The subject is then moved into an imaging shuttle which can be inserted into the provided docking station. The docking station delivers anesthesia while maintaining the subject's body temperature, ensuring more consistent physiological conditions before and during the imaging session. The docking station allows you to queue up additional animals while the scan is running, streamlining your workflow, increasing throughput, while maintaining physiological conditions of your subjects. The imaging cassette inserts into the bore of the G8 PET system. An indicator light illuminates to let you know the interlocks are engaged and imaging can start. Setting up an imaging study is as easy as a few mouse clicks. The G8 software is set up with three user profiles. The general user profile is intended to be used by the majority of researchers. It allows a researcher to set up an imaging study by selecting from well-established imaging protocols using drop-down menus. The physics user profile is intended for the more advanced user and the lab manager who may need to add new isotopes to the drop-down menus and ensure system calibration. Changes made by the physics user can be applied to all user profiles. Finally, the administrator mode is designed to aid in the tracking of the use of the system, creating reports showing each user's utilization. Let's set up a basic 10-minute FDG PET-CT scan. The view on the acquisition computer gives you a live look at the subject, as well as a large countdown clock to let you know how much time is remaining. Following the PET scan, the imaging cassette is automatically shuttled into the CT gantry. A sub-minute, low-dose CT is run. The acquisition software initiates the reconstruction, and during this time, a second subject can be placed in the system and imaging started. The co-registered PET-CT data is exported in DICOM format, so it can be viewed in a variety of software packages. PET is a clinically translatable imaging technology that can provide synergistic data to your current optical imaging techniques. Whether your current research focuses on oncology, or cardiovascular disease, or any other number of applications, when combined with a wide variety of radioisotopes, PET can deliver a more complete picture of the disease that you're investigating. Thanks for watching. I hope this brief video helped illustrate how the G8 PET CT system can be integrated into your current imaging workflows. To learn more about the G8, please visit our website.